with the way that you advertise yourself all over this app as a run through for the passport bros, doubtful. Hello, hyena here and quite possibly the main hyena. Hey, what up? This is your boy, the solo traveler, or the and thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you're right here. Appreciate the support. Back with another video review. This time, I'm gonna do another one on Joanne, and she just dropped a video today. This time, she's actually um, got the video on defending the passport bros. For those of you that, that don't know what's going on, she has been one of the people that has been actually supporting the movement. She has been um you know having basically all of the travelers back uh that's actually out there looking for wives in different countries you know of course you know the whole movement those people that are part of the passport bros they have been under a lot of scrutiny a lot of women from the from the west have been talking you know crazy about men traveling finding wives in another country so she has been out there actively being in the forefront you know combating a lot of these women uh with a lot of stuff that's been going on so my hat to go out to her you know i'm a big supporter of her that's why i make these videos of her a lot of the videos that she actually released so that's why you see her videos all up in, in all my videos so <laughs> so the thing about it is that i wanted to present this video to you guys in reference to what was re released today of her um sticking up for those brothers that are pa that are traveling such as passport bros blue book gentlemen um, you know, travelers, whatever you call yourself. So let's, let's take a look at the video. So from the start, it says, my new TikTok page is just effing new, but look. These are the people who viewed my profile in less than 12 hours. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> you know, she be getting a lot of haters. Like, when I say haters, she be getting them. A lot of ABWs. Good Lord. Why? Wow, it just keeps going on and on and on. <laughs> and this four corner jaw Asian American woman did this. We don't have high body counts, so our Hello Kitties are tight. Doubtful with the way that you advertise yourself all over this app as a run through for the passport bros. Doubtful. Hello, hyena here and quite possibly the main hyena. Y'all make... Man, first off, I hope she knows what she's, what she's talking about being the main hyena. We don't... The, the, these hyenas that we talked about are these women that are basically just just horrible these are the ones that are believed that they should be on top of men these are the dynamicry of the black community this is just what it is so she actually supports a lot of the stuff that's going on that us men don't like the pay for your nails for your wigs for your weaves for everything for your rent everything everything these are just basic things that most black women already provide for themselves so expecting men to treat you the way that you already treat yourself is just setting standards you know standards something that i suspect that you don't have hold on let me stop it there so she is saying that these are standards that these women have okay so what are these women doing for the men after they do all of this stuff please tell me this i mean she has a lot to say but she doesn't know what it is being on the other side being a man because if a man comes in and does all of that stuff what does he get in return for doing all of that stuff for the women of the west which is really nothing a lot of the women refuse to cook refuse to clean they refuse to take care the feminine stuff that women have traditionally have done in the past however you know she is supporting these women of what they do and how they believe how they how they should act which of course you know the moment that if she was to say something that these women don't like they will turn on her the moment that she tries to talk to let's say for example a black guy these women will turn on her so i hope she knows what she's doing 
just accept the fact that those men are just tired dealing with American women. They're tired. They want to go somewhere where they can feel real love. It's not that they want to go somewhere else. Most have been discarded by American women who actually have standards. So they go to underdeveloped countries where their US dollar is worth so much more and they seek out women like you who in their mind are cheap and easy. Also the delusion, oh my God, the delusion. So let's just say this he's saying that these women has side hair and don't don't accept these men that are here in the states okay good that's fine let's say we accept that okay so why are they making videos of a lot of men going to other countries calling them the p word such as predators or, or saying that they're doing sex tourism and all this other stuff when they're projecting because a lot of women especially in the states they go to these other countries such as jamaica you know, such as all these other places for those type of tourism. You know, we've seen it. Get the plastic bag. We've seen all of that stuff. So for her to say that, it's like, come on. And then to say that they have higher standards and so forth. Come on. What, what standards? What standards do they really have? I mean, a lot of them will, you know, will give it up to you if you pay their phone bill. Come on. I mean, let's, let's, let's be real. Men are traveling to other countries for wives. If they just wanted for a sec, they could have just been, they, they could stay here. I mean, it's so easy. It really is. But like I said, men are looking for wife material because the last thing he wants is to get married to a woman. Next thing you know, he finds out that she cheated on him. And after she cheated on him, file for divorce and she takes all his stuff. Like, come on, that doesn't make any sense. So easy to manipulate and control, AKA submissive why is it that you never see passport bros in places like europe japan singapore i'll tell you why because they are highly highly unlikely to meet the standards of women in developed countries where there are higher rates that is so false there is so many dudes that are in japan in europe you know, all over these places, Singapore, that she has suggested, they have found women, they have found wives. So she hasn't really done her investigation. So again, you know, talking on the side of her ass, talking about stuff that she really, really doesn't know what she's talking about. Just, just talking crap. Just talking about so something that she has no knowledge. It makes her look stupid. Of educated women who have more economic opportunities and lower rates of women living in poverty. I'm not sure if you do your research, Girl, I'm a Filipina, and I know the statistics there in your country. Fix your wig first. It looks nasty. You see this? <laughs> Not a wig. Jesus Christ. Smooth. Growing hair out of your raggedy scalp is not an accomplishment, sweetheart. And since you love doing research about the U.S. Somebody's mad that they have short hair compared to her. But let's, co let's continue on. You would know that black women are the most educated demographic in the U.S. You would also know that black women are number one in starting businesses even more than white men. All of that that she said is actually false. A lot of that stuff has been proven that every woman in every race, they are, they are, highly, they are more educated than every than every man of their supposed quote unquote race. I hate to use the word race. However, Asians were the top all of, all of them all. So understand that when you're bragging about growing hair as if it's a flex, you're talking to a lot of educated, business owning black women who can actually afford to purchase your raggedy hair off of your raggedy scalp and have it shipped to their Addy here in the US if that's what they wanted. And I hate to break it to you, but it's also not a flex being picked as a last option by morally bankrupt, emotionally damaged, broke, unwanted males that have been discarded by black women. I'm going to clap back. If you want to keep talking about black women, then we can keep talking about black women. Well, one thing about it is that we all know that Joanne, she wasn't referencing every black women or whatever. She was referencing the ones that were talking crazy to her. The ones, and she's actually said it in all her videos. She was direct. She said, because of this one right here that was talking crap, she would make a video about that one. She never made a generalization of every single one. And, and that's the thing is the fact that, you know, they like, they like to use that. This is their way of, of being, um, 
being victims you know they want to be victims to make themselves look bad and make everybody else look bad and make them look like they're just a saint of everything so we already know how these games roll because i clap back too so after this um so she actually released this <laughs> so more information it says so when i told y'all that what i'm doing ain't easy it ain't easy we know <laughs> we do know it ain't easy <laughs> so the lovely ladies are up in my ass three times more because guess what currently i'm the only one who is active active defending the passport bros yeah and these these women are yo they hate that they don't like that the united states women they, they're not happy about that and we salute you for what you're doing. We definitely appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all welcome. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and, you know, that's the thing about it. You, you see what's going on. You know, these women, especially in the States, it doesn't even matter. They, they're more so nationalist than anything, uh, the women in the States. So they're all banding together because they're upset at these women from other countries. The sad thing about it is the fact that these women are separate here in the states so it's funny how this one opportunity they are coming together all the american women to talk about forming and and here's the thing the american women started it they the one who started it from from the start and and the foreign women are just the ones that are you know basically um clapping back at what's been going on but you know it, it is what it is let's check out the next video these are the girls who hate the passport bros support the passport bro movement the reason i support is because it's the lesser men who are choosing the dr colombia yes. uh, the philippines thailand like women can it's because we don't want them and they know if they go issue with these passport bros aren't that they're getting passed oh no 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 no, no 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 but y'all don't do him? that y'all I think it's really funny how the passport broke. And these are the women who support the brothers. I am FBA and I support the passport bros. I'm a Filipina and I support the passport bros. I am a Filipina and I support the passport bros. Hi, I am Kay. I am a Filipina and I support the Passport Girls. Hi, I'm a Filipina and I support the Passport Bros. I am a Filipina and I support the Passport Bros. I am a Filipina. Filipina for Passport. I am Filipina. I support Passport Bros. I am a Filipina and support the Passport Bros. I am a Filipina and I support the Passport Bros. I am a Filipina and I support the Passport Bros. Hi, my name is Polly and I am Tongan. I am from the country of the Kingdom of Tonga and I support the Passport Bros because we have passport bros that also come to our kingdom my name is joanne i am from the philippines and i am all about finding love peace and happiness and it does not matter where it leads you so i definitely support the passport bros let's give it up to them <clears throat> give it up give it up for these women to actually come out and say that they actually support men that are traveling to other countries you know looking for love and of course you guys know that we've been dealing with a lot of hate <clears throat> coming from especially from you know united states you know and of course we've actually seen some hate coming from um some of the african women who doesn't know what's really going on in the states we have a few that support and we have others they're kind of divided and it's mainly because they don't understand what is going on um <clears throat> or how the culture is set up here in the states that's the main reason why they are saying that they are against the supposedly passport bros, blue book gentlemen, or whoever are traveling out there looking for wives. You know, if they knew how the whole 
um the whole setup how it is with dating relationships here in the states um they will have a different outlook of what's going on but nonetheless you know this is it leave a comment below let me guys let me know what you guys think about you know these videos both these videos and so forth for what's going on um yeah you know let's have a discussion on this well this is your boy the solo traveler ord thanks again for checking out the video don't forget to like subscribe and share and hit that bell and i'm out Thank you.